What's up everyone, Crypto Savvy here with your Bitcoin and Litecoin update. We are also adding in gold, silver, and the Dow in the end because I think this is all gonna fit together. So stick around, definitely watch the whole video. Also, I wanna remind you guys, there's a free Discord group in the description below the video. Definitely check it out, it's totally free, awesome community guys. And there is some affiliate links down there that really help the channel out, so check them out. Keep your crypto safe, keep them off the exchanges, there's some hard wallet uh, links down there that help the channel out. I do get commission off those if you use my link, so that is another way to help support the channel. Thanks a lot, and let's get into the video. All right, guys, as always, this is not financial advice. This is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. There's a disclaimer scrolling on the bottom. Do your own due diligence before entering the market in any way, shape, or form. And uh, I want to remind you guys, this is my wife's webpage, inkyourimage.com. There's a link to it down below. Um, she has a lot of cool t-shirts. There's also long sleeve shirts, um, hoodies, some keychains, and some other stuff that's not listed. Hit her up in the contact. But we're doing a free t-shirt giveaway. And we do that on Sunday by picking a random comment. All you got to do to enter to win is make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of the video, and that will get you entered to win. I'll pick a random comment on Sunday. Um, she can put anything you want on any of this stuff if you are purchasing it. Any any crypto, family pictures, sayings, anything you want at all. Um, and it is quality. It's not, you know, the the cheap iron-on crap or anything like that. So. Just so you know, that's a way to help support the channel, and I really appreciate those of you that have been supporting the channel. All right, looking at, let's do a refresh here to make sure it's refreshed. All right, so looking at the news, just to kind of get the sentiment, uh, Bitcoin rebounds sharply following U.S. strike on Iran's uh, Revolutionary Guards. Um, what about digital currency? Our 2020 predictions for Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin price to spike 75 30 if two supports below hold twitter erupts as bitcoin price rockets six percent so short-term bullish so far bitcoin begins year negative after 2019's eye-catching surge bitcoin just revealed or reversed and it's likely headed to 7400 like said so short term uh let's look at crypto fear and greed index we have dropped a point since yesterday we're at 38 we were at 39 yesterday Let's take a look at the longs versus shorts. Now this is the total of Bitfinex, BitMEX, and Binance. The longs are at 66.11%, the shorts are at 33.89%. A lot of people are still calling for a long squeeze. We'll see what happens. Um, Bitcoin on the monthly. And like I said, then we'll go to Litecoin, then we'll look at the Dow, gold, and silver. And like I said, it all kind of mingles together and I think there's obviously something to it all. So let's take a look. At the monthly, we are having a bullish candle here. We did get support on the 21 EMA, which is around 70, 7,100. Volume still declining while within this formation. I do believe if we break this formation, guys, it is going to be epic. It will be an epic year, 2020, in my opinion, soon as we break this resistance line. Um, let's take a look at the weekly. So looking at the weekly, um, if you guys haven't seen this, I'll show you real quick what's going on here. Um, if I take a Fibonacci retracement and we go from the swing high, the all-time high, down to the low of last year, uh, well, actually it was low of 2018 at around 3,100, 3,200, right in that range. But as you can see here, the 0.65 and the 0.618, are the golden retracement zone or golden pocket and we hit that exactly on this run up and let's see i did the same thing i went from the swing high here to the swing low if we have hit bottom that would put the fibonacci retracement the golden pocket zone right around the eleven thousand dollar range and what i've done here is do a measured move up for looking at this as a symmetrical triangle and if we were to break that 0 0.618, 0 0.65 level, we would be headed towards 2,900, and that would most likely be sometime the end of July, beginning of August, if this is correct. Take it with a grain of salt. I'm just uh, looking at trends here. We would ultimately have to break that 11,000 to start heading up that way. 
And our halving, remember the halving is in May, so this could make a lot of sense. We'll keep an eye on it. That's why I do daily updates. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, I do daily updates every single day, and I do live streams a couple times a week too. Make sure you tick the bell to get notified. Let's look at the volume here is declining within this, and I've been calling this a bull flag for a long time. Uh, people are saying it's too long to be a bull flag. I still believe it to be a bull flag, and I do believe once we break this support or this resistance up here, it's going to be epic. Um, now let's take a look at the RS or the EMAs here. The EMAs are looking to cross bearish. The third, the eight EMA has already crossed down over the fifty-five EMA. The 13 EMA is headed down there now, but as you can see on this weekly candle, that does look like a hammer. Although it's not at the bottom of the big trend, still a bullish candle here. If we if we can end up here or even come up a little more, make it green, it should be a pretty good deal. But keep in mind, um, there are lower targets that we could still reach. And one being, well, we'll look at that in the daily, but let's let's go over to the daily now well first we'll go to the rsi sorry guys um looking at the rsi let me get this out of the way we were looking at this as a falling wedge where we broke out of it here came back down tested for support got support remember this red line here um, back in 2013 we had capitulated past it looking at this as a heavy support line guys we broke above it when we started the bull run in 2015 Came up, came back down, retested it for support, got support, and continued up from there. Same thing, 2018, we capitulated past it, broke back through, came up, came back down, tested it for support. We've gotten support. And if I clone that white line here and just put it from the peak, looks like we could be headed up towards this resistance line if this breaks which would probably line up with the top of this resistance line. That would be pretty damn bullish. Let's uh, let's look at the daily and we'll take a look at the bearish case also. And looking at the bearish case on Bitcoin in the daily, uh, the Fibonacci, Fibonacci retracement from the swing low to the swing high, we have been teetering right in this golden pocket zone. Um, we, yesterday, we popped down and hit this 0.65 on the dot and got support bounced back up. We were watching this as a uh, falling triangle and we were, it was right at 70.50. I said I'd put a short just below that. I did miss the trade. I got one later on in the evening uh, posted in the discord and actually I still thought we were going to go lower. Um, I did close my short here. I entered another short and ended up getting stopped out. But anyways, if you guys are interested in trading, I will leave a Bybit tutorial up top. If you use my links below for Bybit or Prime XBT, you get a bonus, um, a welcome bonus for signing up and making a deposit. So yeah, check those out. Definitely use my links if you are interested in trading. Be extremely careful. I do suggest you use uh, the Bybit uh, test net first you can play with fake money before you use real money and then if you decide to trade use a minute amount of money that you're willing to lose you're not going to go in and just win a shitload of money um, use low leverage uh, just just be careful guys you can learn to trade it does take time uh, most people that lose are people that get in and think they're going to get rich throw all their money at it and lose it all they don't take time to learn um, it takes time, guys. But anyways, so from the Fibonacci retracement, uh, the 0.786 is at the 5400 level. And if we were to come down and test that right on this support line, that would be sometime towards the end of January. Definitely a possibility, guys. Keep that in mind. Um, we did break through this trend line again. It does look like it's some people call these tweezer bottoms. Some people call them railroad tracks. This is a bullish engulfing candle that we're getting on the daily next to this, but we still have, uh, what time is it? 730. So we still have 12 hours. Um, are we going to come up and test the 55 EMA around 75, 71? Uh, we'll see. We'll look into the smaller time frames. Um, could we possibly come all the way up here and retest the 8,500? 
That being the top of this resistance line. If that was to break, it would be extremely bullish. Not that I think it's gonna, but we'll see. Let's look at the RSI. So in the RSI, we had the falling channel here in yellow, and then you can see in the white, a rising channel. We are coming up to test the top of this channel again. We've been looking at that for a while, which will probably be most likely right around that 75, 80 area, somewhere in there. And if that breaks, most likely be coming up to test this one. And guys, that could be as far up as the $8,000 range would be the top of this on the RSI on the daily. We'll see. And that doesn't mean we do it all in one day, guys. So trolls, don't sit there and scream, you said this, you said that. Pay attention. If you're not paying attention, good luck in life. Um, anyways, looking at, well, before we look at the RSI, we'll take a look at the price action. So yesterday, as you can see this red line, I was looking at this as a descending triangle and it said I'd put a short in, although I was at work and did not get to do this trade. But like I said, I did a, one later on last night. But anyways, I've drawn another trend line now, this red one on the bottom. I'm still going to leave this here because this is a good support and resistance line. There was a lot of confluence here. But I put a red one in. We got the bounce here. Like I said, that bounce was off of the 0.65. And I had talked about that yesterday when I said if he shorted here, make sure to put a stop loss just above and then start exiting the trade at the 0.65 at the 6,900. You would have done well if you did that. Of course, this is not financial advice, but I was telling you what I was planning on doing. Um, anyways, let's look at where we're at now. So, if we come up, test the top of this again, that's going to be around the 7,400. If that breaks, we're looking at that 7580 range, somewhere in that range. Now, as you can see, we have broken above the 200 EMA, and it looks like we are getting support here on it as of right now. The EMAs are all turning up looking bullish here so it is it is looking pretty bullish here guys it'll all depend on if we get rejected here at the 74 or not um but let's look at the targets here obviously the bearish case that we slowly come back down here to the 70 67 50 68 range that would be breaking the 7050 range again so I would not make any short unless we broke the 7050 range again, and then I'd be looking for uh, possibly 6743. After that, that would be retesting this falling channel at about 6275. Now, the bullish case scenario if we did a measured move, actually, yeah, if we did a measured move, this could actually come all the way down to here, guys. Let me re. Move this. As you guys know, I don't have a lot of time in the morning to go over this before I make the videos. I make raw videos. I don't edit them. And let's look at the, if we were to break up here, we could be going as high as the 8100 zone. And let's look at some other targets here. Like I said, if we break that 7583, looks like we could be headed to the 8100 zone. Now let's take a measured move of this falling channel here give us another target we could be going as high as that 8913 within the next couple days possibly today if it was to happen guys i'm not guaranteeing anything um, i'm just telling you my ideas but that would also line up with the top of this bull flag which would hit our resistance line let's look at the rsi and see what that is telling us. All right, so in the RSI, we've been watching this rising channel in red. We did come down right here, test that. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it. I'm trying to keep it both on here so you guys can see what exactly I'm looking at. Then we had a falling channel here. We have broken out of that in the four hour, guys. That's pretty bullish. Um, a lot of times we'll break up out of that, come back down to retest it. So we could come back down and retest around the 7230 range before making an attempt to move back up. Keep that in mind. But we could just break out like we did over here. Never tested it. And I'll draw a line in there so you can see it. 
uh, right there. As you can see, this was a falling channel too. Once we broke out, that we never came back down testing it. So if we were to do that now, most likely, guys, um, the top of this red rising channel is is going to be around that 7580. Actually, I think it's going to break that, uh, to be honest with you. It might make it up to the 7700, possibly $8,000 range if we come up to test the top of this. Um, and then we would most likely come back down, test this falling channel for support before continuing up. But honestly, it looks pretty good um, from what I'm seeing right now. Let's, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let's get into Litecoin. See what's going on with Litecoin. All right, so Litecoin on the daily. As you guys know, I've been watching this falling wedge, possibly with the top being at 5186 from where we're at now. And if we look at the RSI, you know what, before that, let's do this. Same thing with Litecoin, guys. We are making a, a bullish engulfing candle. We are getting rejected right here at the 21 EMA as of right now on the daily. If we were to drop the bottom of this support line, actually, let me move it a little bit. It's going to be right around the, <coughs> excuse me, $32 range, $32.50. Um, if we're to continue up, we could be heading towards the 45.22, and I'll show you why when we go into the smaller time frames. But the top of this wedge here is around the 51.86. Let's look at the RSI. So on the RSI, as you can see, I have this falling channel in yellow. And then we have this almost a broadening wedge going across in white. But if you look here where we're at, if we do come up to test the top of this, guys, that's going to be probably around the $45 to $46 range. Let's go into the shorter time frame. Let's see, we'll go into the four hour. And as you guys know, we had been watching this yesterday. I did have this line up here off of these here and said if we had broke the 39.75, we were going to go down, which we did. But I am going to move this line now right here and as you can see it lines up with the rsi uh this being a broadening wedge but i did also had this trend line in here where we have gotten rejected off it twice we have got rejected here it does look like in the four hour this has just started so we may come down test the 55 ema which is around 4133 possibly and continue up from there if this doesn't turn into a tweezer top which i don't think it is if it started out going down in the four hour, usually the second half of the four hour, it will continue up. But we'll see. If we do come back down and test this, it's probably going to be back down in this range, uh, possibly all the way down to test the bottom of this again, which would be around the 38.63 range. Actually, you know what? It would probably be longer than that. Let me put this over here. That's if we continue down, but I think we're most likely going to break up and test the top of this, guys. Um, which, if we broke up here, is probably going to get us up to around that 45.22 range if we can break the 200 EMA at 43.37. And that will break us through the top of this. If, Like I said, otherwise we come back down, test this falling wedge, which is most likely going to get us around this 38 something, and that could take till next week if that's the case we'll see what happens um but yeah all, all the emas here are starting to turn up guys in the four hour looking bullish and if we go to the one hour i'm sure they already have and they have it does look like the eight ema is getting ready to cross the 200 ema the 13 ema is getting ready to cross the 55 it does look kind of bullish even though the rsi is getting pretty high here it looks like we do have room for another push up and if we do drew a bull flag on the the one hour, or I'm sorry, yeah, on the one hour, let's just take a measured move real quick and see where we might be headed on that. And if we did a measured move on this bull flag just from this little breakout here, looks like we might get a tiny move up somewhere in this range. Let's put a target up there. Looking like 
possibly 43.14 range, which would be confluent with the support and resistance over here, would get us up into the oversold, possibly correct back down, maybe test the $41 range again and continue up. We'll see what happens. Now, let's take a look at the Dow Jones. Um, it is, you know, they call Bitcoin a bubble when it went to 20 grand. Look at this. This is on the monthly, mind you. Um, the bottom down here is 1140 you know, $1,000 range back in 1980. All the way to 29000 right? Almost 29000 as we speak. Let me put in my trend lines here and look at what... Guys, this can't continue forever, and when it drops, I believe it's going to drop extremely hard. Um, let's let's look at this as a megaphone or a rising broad or just a broadening wedge. Either way, you want to look at it. Do a measured move that gets us up to about the thirty-two thousand six hundred dollar range. Uh, that would be the first target continuing up from here. Uh, the second, looking at this as a megaphone. And we put the measured move to where we broke out. And that gets us up to about the $35,300 range. I believe that's probably as high as we're going to get before crashing. We'll see what happens. But um, And remember, guys, this is on the monthly. This could take quite some time. We could have another six months, possibly a year doing this. Um, I don't see it going that long, but you never know. It's getting getting out of hand, getting crazy. This market cannot keep going like this. Um, you know, they just keep pumping money into it, printing and pumping. Let's look at gold. So looking at gold, and then we'll take a look at silver. Um, I have some measured moves over here too on gold. And looking at what we have here in gold, this is the daily chart. <clears throat> and I have this bull flag here marked. And if we measure just the, the bull flag itself, and where we broke out, that gives us the measured move to 1556, which we are almost there now. And then if I looked at this from the breakout over here, this would give me a target of 1584. Then if we looked at this whole thing as the flagpole from the breakout here, and we bring it up to the top of the bull flag, it does look like um, gold and silver are pretty freaking bullish right now, guys, which is a sign that the stock market may be coming down sooner than later, but we'll see. Uh, but that measured move will get us to 17,041, um, which is confluent with all of this support and resistance back over here. So that is that is what I'm looking at around the 17, 1741 area. Let's look at silver. Same thing with silver, guys. We topped out on silver. Back here in April 2011, and it's been coming down ever since. Well, looking at where we're at now, that's another thing I wanted to show you real quick on the gold. The EMAs are actually still looking pretty bullish if we can continue getting support on them. But anyways, let's go back over to silver. All right, let me add my lines on here. Silver, this could be an Adam and Eve here, possibly. But before that, let's look at these measured moves I have here. Looking at this as a falling wedge, did a measured move of the width of the wedge, brought it to the top, pretty simple. And that gets us to the $19.76 range as that target. But I do have the neckline of the Adam and Eve right around the $20.70, somewhere in that range. It's not exact, guys. If that's what this is, a uh, confirmation of that would be breaking this trend line, coming back down, test it for support, and continue up. Now let's look at this as a flag pull from the breakout right here. And looking at that as a bull pennant, bring it up. That would get us to the 2217. Now that would be confluent with coming up here and then coming back down, retesting for support, and continuing up if this is an Adam and Eve. And the measured move of the Adam and Eve, guys, all I have to do is take measurement from the neckline to the peak of the atom and then bring it back up if it was to break out that measured move would be around the 2774 2775 range and again guys these aren't exact to the pennies but it should give you a good estimate but that does look like what's going on um so i appreciate you guys stopping in don't forget to subscribe to the channel click the like button 
Tick the notification button to get you notified when I post new videos. Check out my wife's webpage. Don't forget to leave your comment below to enter to win the free t-shirt. Thanks a lot, guys. I may see you tonight. If not, I will see you in the morning. Have a great day.